got nothing against your friends. I like your friends. You know, things have obviously changed for us. I have to help Charles finish his movie. It'd be good for you to spend some time with kids who don't run around with cameras and monster makeup. Uh, could you close your eyes, please? Yeah. Well, when I was uh, a kid, I made Super 8 movies as, as Stephen made regular 8 movies. And I had a, an idea one day for a movie called Super 8. And before the idea was even remotely formed, before I even thought of anything beyond that, I was on the phone calling Stephen and saying, would you ever want to do a movie called Super 8? It was about, and luckily uh, you said yeah. yes. And that was sort of the beginnings of it. Basically it was, I just, I, I didn't, I thought we could have made a really, J.J. could have made a wonderful, very personal film just about these kids based on what I did in 8 millimeters. J.J. said, and what he did in Super 8 millimeter when we were both growing up. But we wanted a lot of people to see this movie, and so when J.J. came up with the idea of bringing another genre, and so at one point we thought about a, a heist, could this be a heist movie? You know, we, 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 we kicked around many different kind of genres, but when he came up with the science fiction idea, it just felt... Action! Right. It is my favorite thing about movies, and it's frankly the thing that I think the movies that Stephen makes are the are movies that do this. And it's kind of when you think of well, what is you know, not to talk about you like you're not here, but the the brand of the movies that you make, uh, you know, they are full of so many different kinds of, of genres. You can have a family film, you can have a horror movie, a monster movie, you can have an adventure film, you can have a comedy, you know, you can have a, a, a drama and a sort of social commentary and, you know, you can, in, in one film. And it, it's, it, those are my favorite movies, movies that just kind of, you don't expect to cry, you don't expect to laugh that hard, you don't expect to be that scared, you don't expect, but by the time you've left, you've had this sort of roller coaster, which frankly is what the the characters have to go through and casting this movie, you know, especially with these younger actors, making sure these kids could do all those extreme emotions. And it's because I want the audience to go through those extreme emotions as well. An eastbound freighter derailed what the cargo was on that freighter. We don't know. I can't tell anyone. I know. I understand you have concerns about our cargo. Colonel, there isn't anything else that I should know with, sir. I can assure you the answer is no. We've gotten calls from people who found local dogs, but the calls coming in aren't local. Oh, it's like they all just ran away. Well, it's a funny thing that uh, this is not just about Super 8, just in, in general. The monster is almost like secrets that people don't really want to know the answer to. So, for example, like people will say, when I was working on Lost, people would say, so wait, what's that, what, what's the, uh, don't, don't tell me. Like they would literally tell me not to tell them the second they asked the question. And, uh, and I think monsters, you want to see the monster, but at the same time, there's something wonderful about it being withheld and, and, and hidden and, and, and sort of just off camera. Um, you, you mentioned Alien, and there's a shot uh, in one of the deleted scenes from, from Alien where Veronica Cartwright's character is being uh, attacked, killed by the alien. It's one of the scariest scenes in the film. But there's a shot that they didn't use that is this wide angle shot from way back in this corridor. And you see Veronica Cartwright standing up in full frame. You see the alien stand up. And it's maybe the least scary thing you've ever seen in your life. And there's a reason they didn't use it because the, the creature is contained in the frame. It's small. You see the scale. You understand it. You all of a sudden have an understanding. Even though it is a scary thing that's attacking this character, cinematically it was not... It wasn't, it wasn't frightening. And when you watch the scene, it's terrifying. And it's all kind of how little you see, you know, and makes it, 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 it that shot became subjective, uh, became objective, and the whole scene is subjective. So to me, I tried to tell the story in Super 8 subjectively and tried to avoid a God's eye sort of, you know, third party points of view as much as possible.